we'll start with a little bit of history again. Uh, okay. 21 years ago today was the last episode. Really? Today? What? Today. No. <coughs> Kid born that day are now going out to the bar to celebrate. 21 years ago today was the last episode. I'm sorry. I love talking to you. Yeah, how do you know all that stuff? Because he knows everything, Larry. Know everything. Of course you do. Yes, he knows. <laughs> of course you do. Now I know who you are. <laughs> you know everything. I'm okay. Know all, yeah. Tell me when the last one of this is going to be. Uh, 13 years 13 from now. Years from now. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. There we go. Exactly. Oh, that's easy. Right. What is the fourth of? Um, well, while I have the two of you, I'm going to yes. throw you a twist. Okay. Okay. I did it with Josh and Jesse. I'm going to ask you. Why root for JR, not Bobby? Why root for JR, not Bobby? Yeah. Because the more his ego is assuaged by thinking he's got people rooting for him, the sloppery, sloppery, the sloppier he gets. And that means I'm going to win. Okay. Why root for Bobby instead of JR? I can't understand what he said. <laughs> That's why you should root for Bobby. That's why I should root for Bobby. <laughs> now, I just mentioned, obviously, the 21 years ago. Did you ever think you'd be sitting here? Talking about a new series? No. You kept saying all the years the bloom was off the rose. What? Uh... Who said that? You did. Larry. I did. Yes. The bloom was off the yes, rose. Yes, you no, said that. No, no, that was when somebody else was going to play my part. <laughs> What's your fault? No names. Oh. No names. <laughs> but no, I never. No, thought. no, no, no. <laughs> but no, I never thought. I didn't because I didn't think anybody knew how to do it anymore. You know, after Leonard was dead, I didn't think anybody got the idea of Dallas until I read Cynthia Sidra's script. Yeah, and I was going to say, what changed? That was it for me. That Reading that script changed it completely for me. It's like going back to the playground with the, uh, the, the, <laughs> you guys, huh? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's it is. right. It is. The sandbox. The sandbox. Now, you, you didn't think you'd be here, obviously. <laughs> There's a lot of reasons I wouldn't have been here. Yeah. Hello, Miss Gray. Uh, she's, she's coming. Come on. We're not waiting. I heard you talking out there about her putting... Hello. Hello. Hello again. Hello again. Put that on. We're in the middle of it. Because he's, he's only got five minutes, so put this on quick and sit between us, and we're in the middle of it, and... Ah, oh, sorry. We already told him what you think. Oh, great. <laughs> <laughs> they know everything. It was, it was 21 years ago today, the last episode. Yeah. 21 years Can ago what? Today. today? Yeah. yeah. So today. Kids born that day are now out celebrating at the bars. All right. Isn't yes. that amazing? Did you, did you think you would be sitting here 21 years later? No, I'm just so I don't excited. even know where here is. <laughs> here is right here, oh. right now. Oh, okay. Right here on the couch. But no. But that's wow, right. that's amazing. Yeah, so, um, but what, uh, Patrick said what changed for him to... Was reading the script. Back. What, um, what changed for both of you? Was it, was it the script or...? Thinking that the show would come back. <laughs> no, it was when they told me they were going to be on the show. I said, oh, God, man, wait. <laughs> I'm here. I'm still here. And Linda said... All right, sign up. I said, okay. Yeah. No, I tell him what to do, and he does it. Mm. Or well, it takes two of us now. We yeah. both tell him, and he does it. Well, obviously, it's, having previewed the JR seems to be, according to the trailers, back to as ruthless as he was at the beginning. Um, must be great to play that again. It is wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> he, was, he was born to play this role. Yep. How, how would you address fans that are concerned that it won't measure up to the original? I mean, I've been on the forum and people are like, now, now the wait's been so long, they're, they're nitpicking the set. Oh, they're nitpicking the set? Yes. Yeah. I, well, I the would, set's uh, entirely different. I mean, it had nothing to do with the remodel, original. There was a remodel. A remodel of the house. Yeah. And it, how, how would you... I would tell them, give us three episodes. Watch three episodes. If you're not convinced that it's the kind of show that we used to do and that you used to love, don't watch anymore. But give us three episodes, I think we'll have you. Is that, is that fair? Or? God. I'd say give was, it one. I was, done, I was in after one. Well, I know, but that's yeah. my point. To convince him, I think he said, give, give us three. Yeah, I no, that, that's and a, that's the sets well, never sold a show anyhow. What yeah. the hell difference yeah, is Yeah, well, I think people, people who like to nitpick will nitpick, uh, no matter what, what they see or do, how they're going to nitpick about it, there's somebody's yeah. shoes or something. So they're that nitpicky kind of person. So if you just sit back and enjoy the show, enjoy the ride, you, you'll be sucked in. How, how would Leonard uh, think of the show today, Cynthia? I think he'd be happy with it. Oh, I do too. I think yeah. he'd be very happy yeah, with it. I do yeah. too.
And I think he would recognize that it was, it's a now a different generation type of show, that maybe it's not his kind of show that he could have created, but he would love what was done with his show. <laughs> how, how is it having someone like Cynthia, uh, you know, now it's, you should bring a woman's perspective, and how well, have the women changed since uh, the early? Well, it was huge for me because the original show was very male oriented, and uh, women were reactors uh, to uh, the male influence. Um, so when I saw Cynthia Cidre's name on, on the cover of the new script, I was so excited, and I called my agent to set up a lunch with her because I really wanted to know what she thought Sue Ellen was going to do. And in, in the pilot, I don't have a lot to do, and I was a little nervous. I remember calling Patrick and saying, ooh, it's a little nervous because I didn't know uh, I felt that they didn't know what to do with Sue Ellen. Um, so I was concerned, and I wanted to hear a woman's perspective. And, and I said to her, I said, how well do you know Texas women? And she said, I don't. Very honest. And I said, well, I do. And we had a fabulous, instant uh, coming of the minds, two women talking about women's issues. And it was an intelligent meeting. She was very open to any ideas that I had. I was very open to her ideas. So there was a, a lovely communication. And I feel that she got it. Mm -hmm. She got it very, very much. It's really grounded in the past, obviously, the tribute to Jonathan Gasselli in the fireplace. And, uh... She's going to pull me? Yes. Uh, the tribute to Jock and Miss Ellie. Yes. I love that painting. I really love it. OK. Where are you going? I miss you. I miss you, too. I'm going to go talk me. about you, though, so it's OK. Nicely? Yeah. We'll, we'll finish say that nice things. Say oh, nice yes. things. We'll talk nicely about um, you. Bye. We just shot. Um, obviously, the cliffhanger is back. Um, is it the end of the season, True Dallas uh, style cliffhangers? I hope. I, I think <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, see, for us, you got the first seven shows. Yeah. For us, for the actors, show eight, nine, ten were mind-blowing because the actors would read the scripts and then we would see each other and say, did you know, I didn't know this was going to happen. Did you? No. I didn't. Do you believe what happened here? And this person is doing that and who knew about that? And how come this happened and blah, 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 blah. So when the actors get excited about uh, about scripts before we've even shot it, it that's exciting. So what you've seen in the first seven shows are teasers for uh, show eight, nine, ten. And anybody can pop up at any point, huh? If their character is alive, then... Oh, anything can happen, and it does. So you have to and see... And some things that nobody ever thought nobody of. Ever I never thought, thought of anything. We were like calling each other going, did you know this was going to happen? <laughs> I know it, I, I know, know. <laughs> And it was so much fun. Must have been good to work with uh, Charlene, Steve, and Kennedy. It oh, was, yeah. Like, it's always great to see your, that. Your dialogue, the two of you, is uh, just the, the banter is great. It's great. Yeah, um, yeah. So um, I think we'll probably have more at the next press thing in June. But um, any messages for the Ultimate Dallas... Uh, Watch it. You'll love it. I swear to God, you will love it. I just wanted to thank Ultima Dallas. Um, I remember being in London with, uh, with Colin and, uh, and how it all began, how Ultima Dallas began. And I am so excited and so proud that Ultima Dallas has become as global as it has with these devoted fans that love us and we love you back. So that's what I love, and I love the tweets and all this great stuff that's happening because and of the technology. And you figured out Polo Fridays? Um, I'm, 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 <laughs> <laughs> the kids, uh, Josh and Jesse are teaching me how the FF Friday, Polo Friday is. So tomorrow is a test. Okay. I'm, I'm going to do the FF tomorrow. I'll throw one out already. Will you? Okay. Okay, cool. Um, that's everything, and you're, you're, you're doing well now? I'm doing well, yeah. Okay. You, you look well. For, feeling good. Good, good. Another 13 years? I'm up for it. All That's right. it. He is. And he's going to do it. Nice. Or I'll shoot him. That'll the way in. Haven't yeah. you already done that? No, it wouldn't you. <laughs>
he looks great now. Look at him. You call this well? You ought to see me when I'm really looking well. 